Hello, my name is Bob, and for the last two and a half years I've lived in Florida. But prior to that, I lived in Pennsylvania, where I was a senior communications executive for a major U.S. corporation and an elected Republican municipal official. But the Republican Party that I represented then is not the Republican Party of today. And I will not be voting for Donald Trump for three reasons. First is simply the abandonment by the Republican Party of the principles of Lincoln. Lincoln stood for right makes might. That has been replaced with might makes right. Lincoln sought contradictory opinions and surrounded himself with people who had those so that the resulting policies were stronger and better considered. That is not possible with the people surrounding the president today. Lincoln provided moral and personal leadership, took responsibility for his actions, and above all sought to heal differences among peoples. None of that exists today. Second reason is the eroding of ideals of a constitutional republic under the current Republican administration. The president's actions to eliminate watchdogs, vilify a free press, defer to international autocrats, starting to use military uh, action against Americans, using lies and half-truths to justify positions, which, by the way, is also uh, a tactic of the far left. All of this aided and abetted by a craven and enabling Republican-led Senate are actions of a totalitarian regime and not a constitutional republic. The third reason is simply results. The past three and a half years have been a disaster for Americans. We have an increasing federal debt that is currently seven times the annual revenue. We've got an unemployment rate not seen since the Great Depression. We've got the greatest racial and political divide not seen in at least 50 years. And we have the most devastating health care crisis in more than 100 years, killing so far more than 125,000 Americans. And we are also in the process of advocating world leadership, probably to China. Of course, the current president will dot deny responsibility for this, but it all happened on his watch. The people of the United States deserve better.